Hey, this is Neil from Caustic Waves from Glasgow in Scotland, and you're watching the local band Smokeout. I give you the one, the only. Zai of Plagues in the building! Yeah, hell yeah! Let's go! First of all, thank you so much for your time, sir. I appreciate it. If you could, for those that may not be aware of who you are, can you do me a favor and introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are. Please plug or promote anything and everything. Absolutely. It would be my pleasure. So my name is Zilotha. I'm the frontman and vocalist for the theatrical metal band Plagues. We are based out of the United Kingdom, at least for the time being. And we have plans to dominate the world. So stay sharp. I love that. Just so, just so everybody really knows... Soon. Where can you uh, toss out all your social media so people know where to go and hit the likes, the follows, and subs, and all that? Sure, best place to find all our social medias uh, via our link tree, which can literally be found at link linktr.ee forward slash official blakes. So take me back to the beginning. Take me back to it's it's time to put a band together, and and this is why we want to go with this concept. This is this is how I want to do the band. I know we've chatted a bunch off camera, but just take me back to the beginning. So it actually, funnily enough, originated in 2019, the idea for Plagues. Um, if we're going by law, it was decided because the only way which Osorio felt that he could get his message across in the best way which would follow the sort of the emotion which he was trying to articulate uh was through metal so a metal band made sense but in 2019 basically um yeah there was i don't know we saw that there was a lot missing from the theatrical side of metal and saw that there was an opportunity to fill a gap which just made sense at the time obviously we had no idea what was coming in 2020 and um the funny thing is the name was decided long before we had any clue of what would happen in 2020. And uh, we're still uncertain now whether or not, um, you know, the, the name worked against us or helped us with getting exposure in 2020. We don't know. I'm wondering if we're still paying for having that name because of the way censorship works nowadays. But yeah, that's basically it. It all started in 2020 with the release of Sentinel in June. That was our debut track. Um, We'd already had an EP all ready to go before even releasing a song. We made sure that we had a whole backlog of, of music to release. And then we just, every one to two months, released a full song from the EP with a music video counterpart. So. And, th and then when in, in 2019, 2020, when, when you came up with, you and the boys came up with the, the concept of Plagues, you knew right out of the gate that it was going to be full-on mystery we don't want people to know who we are, the mask image. Uh, and how, how complicated is that to uphold? Um, well, when you have a lot of different personalities in a, in a band, especially at the very beginning, um, people have different agendas. And unfortunately, ego sometimes gets the better of people. And they don't when something starts picking up, they may not necessarily like the idea of <laughs> maintaining anonymity. So there have been tangible problems like that. Um, but now it's very well polished because it's all um, kind of bound by legal contracts now. <laughs> so there's nothing to worry about as far as ruining the mystery, uh, the mystery aspect of the, uh, of the band. So, yeah. I, I love what you do vocally. In my opinion, it's somewhere miles in between a sleep token meets slipknot vibe. But can you take me through your personal influences of, of artists that even made you just wanting to be a musician? Wow, okay. So we're talking a long time ago. Well, um, 
if we're going towards or talking about the inception of ever wanting to do music, then we're we're literally talking about Jimi Hendrix, <laughs> Nirvana, Metallica, really? yeah, Trivium. I mean, we're talking about just I first started out playing guitar. That was my first sort of. No, that's not necessarily true. I first played cello, believe it or not. Um, not for very long. Do you play cello? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Do you ever incorporate that into any of your music? Oh yes, loads of orchestral, or loads of loads of strings. String ensembles are a big part of the played sound now. I didn't know if that was like done through MIDI or you're actually like physically playing the cello to lay down the track. Oh, so no, there is no, at the moment, there's no um, organic real world instrument as far as the orchestration, but there is a view in the future to, you know, hire in session string musicians to live perform, um, you know, the orchestral aspect of the sound of plagues. Yes, because it does have a different feel. Samples can only get you so far. When you actually get into a room and start moving the the air to record something, it 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 translates a lot better. Now you have a little bit of a scary image, which I absolutely love. Can you mm. tell me a anything that actually scares you, and uh, maybe a favorite horror film or for, horror franchise? I feel like you might be a horror film fan. Okay, I'm going to disappoint you on the second half of that question. <laughs> um, so. As far as phobias, I often say when people ask me if I have any phobias or what are you afraid of, genuinely, I have not got any phobias. But the best answer that I can give you is that I have not come across uh, any fears yet. I haven't experienced what I'm afraid of yet to be able to answer that question. Okay. Um, but realistically speaking, I think it's ever... Um, Letting down my fan base is probably the most tangible fear. Is in some way disappointing them, you know, with especially with the, the way that the music now has such a high value, it's high stakes now with every release, and the idea of hyping up a track and then for the community to be like, oh, <laughs> you know, this wasn't it wasn't all it was cracked up to be. I think that would it would tear me apart. Speaking of of letting the fans down, which I'm sure you'd never do. And I, I honestly mean that because you're you're committed to the music, you're committed to the image and the look. How, how does it feel to have so many scholars just absolutely worship and love what you do? Because I'm one of them. I I love everything you do, brother. And uh, just what about and and just creating that community? I know that you've said that you've you've given out names to to some of the scholars on Discord and stuff like that. Like, what does that mean to you? It means everything, honestly. And um, one of the things which came about, unfortunately, of the events of 2020 was how, well, obviously with lockdowns and things, was um, this natural tendency to be afraid or um, dismissive of the idea of socially interacting anymore because it became this kind of taboo thing because of obviously for the, the tangible fears which were well, the tangible issues which come with socializing at that time. And um, I kind of took it upon myself to try and create a community where people would feel accepted because we live in such a divided world as well. Um, it was really important to me to try and offer an outlet for those which feel like they might be shunned for being the people who they are um, and to feel a place where they'd be accepted and respected and it'd be a place of compassion, empathy, kindness and, and unity. And for there to now be so many people who who are thriving and making that experience what it is now, it's the most humbling and awe-inspiring thing. I, I never anticipated being able to connect on the level that I am now connecting with these people based on the music that's been created. It, it's humbling and I really, I feel very, very fortunate. You know, if there was any lottery I could win, this is the one I'd want to win. Where I, I get to, you know, connect with these people like this. I love that. Uh, were you in? Were you in? I want to do some fun questions here in a bit, but uh, were you in previous projects before Plagues, or has this kind of Maybe. always been your your main <laughs> your main baby? I I have got 
experience, yes. Okay, gotcha. Uh, <laughs> I can't really explain what that is, but yes, I, I yes. You've jammed before. We'll say oh, that. Oh yeah, you've I've, jammed I've, before. I've seen a bit of the world. Okay, cool. Are you are you a sports fan by chance? Do you do you, do you follow any any sports like uh like football or anything like that? I know that my community manager is going to hate this, but no, I don't follow football um, or anything like that. But I am, I used to be interested in Formula One once upon a time. Okay. I found the, uh, it was more the engineering aspect of it. I'm sure my community are going to just call me a nerd as they usually do for this, but I'm, I'm fascinated with technology and I find the, you know. That is interesting. The absolute, you know, pinnacle of automotive engineering is displayed in Formula One, and I don't know. I was interested in that for a little while, but then music that, kind of took over everything. And that's Myself, like, but that's I'm, like, that's like I'm, sixteen, seventeen hundred horsepower, right? Yes, yeah. They, they. I mean, they're limited, so they used to be able to go well over three hundred mile an hour, but they, they limit them because it's obviously not exactly safe, and you, you, yeah, yeah you can, mortality rate. You wreck at three hundred is. It's not looking so, good. It's not looking good. Uh, take me through how it's it's time to create a new song. What is what is your process? If you're if you're willing to say, can you tell us what DAW you use as far as recording? Um, but just sure. just starting a song from scratch. Go go through your your progression and layering. How you get it to our ears? Okay. Um, first of all, I'll usually think of a theme that I want to write um, for. So. Um, the easiest one to sort of break down and analyze would be Resurgence and how that came about. So with Resurgence, that's our latest release. Um, we, well, I look at it from a top-down view. So it's the, the outcome is I'm looking to write a song which would exemplify the, the essence of, of war and, and, and a battle. And what does that sound like to me in my mind when I, when I think of that? How would I turn that vision into a soundscape and then i start thinking about all the elements of that so you've got like big war drums and um, i'm thinking sort of cinematic sounds you know orchestral elements and and then thinking vocally what do i want to do well i'm going to have a mixture of something quite anthemic you know i want to have that soaring kind of vocal line and then the heavy brutal vocals too to bring this sort of the uh, nitty grittiness and dirtiness of war and um, then I put it through the law machine, the plagues, and that's when the vocals will start falling into place. And the, the vocals, or the lyrics rather, always are tangibly linked to my own personal experiences. And then they are spun through the what I call the law machine to make sense in the context of the grand story of plagues. And also, but I've got to be careful because I always try and find a balance to make sure that they're relatable to people. So it's a really kind of finicky thing. You have to make sure that it's not too based in the story so that people can actually relate to the music and the song. So I add that human element to it too, you know, where people can engage. But yeah, it's it, almost 90% of the start, 90% of the time starts off music first and then lyrics and then vocals recorded on top. Awesome. Uh, DAW, I, I use, I did use Pro Tools for a long time and then it's now back to Logic. It's what I started out on, and you know, I've gone back to it because it just is the most convenient software to use for songwriters. I find personally. Yeah, it's the easiest MIDI of all of all the DAWs. I think. Yeah. Is, is, yeah. Is... I mean, I've tried Cubase. I've tried um, uh, what's it called now? There's the one. There's Reaper. Ableton. Ableton Reaper. Live. Oh, no, I, I can't stand Reaper. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I never got on with that, but um, Ableton. Um, Cubase. Cubase was pretty good. I found Cubase quite good for the programming of MIDI, but um, Pro Tools was just awkward. Uh, it was better for working on like a big mix, if you, especially if you're using a console or something like that, um, and a lot of outboard. I find it the uh, routing to be a lot more logical, which is ironic considering Logic. But Logic, again, is also really good at that, and that's just where I feel at home now. It's the simplest thing to do. For me, it's just open a fresh project and just get on with it with logic now i know we we pre-discussed doing some trivia i don't think it's possible for you to do the hot sauce because you'd have to i assume remove the mask we won't ask you to do that so if if i 
Don't stump you. Just give me a giant finger on the middle finger on the screen, and we'll just call it even. But to do the trivia, I need to know a little more about you. I need to know if there's a particular movie or TV show that you've seen more than anything. This movie you've seen 50 times. So if I look up trivia on it, how could I stump you? Because you've seen it so many times. Or a TV show. Your pick, anything in the entire spectrum. That's kind of where I start. I'll look up some trivia. It takes me a minute, and then we'll we'll see if I can if I can stump you. Whether or not you get it right or wrong, I am gonna do some ghostly garlic hot sauce, which I have on the screen right here. It's got a little zing, a little spice to it, but that's what makes it fun. Um, but yeah, does anything come to mind? Wow. Okay, I'm having a, a deep dig through what I have. Honestly, it's gonna sound ridiculous but i hardly spend any time consuming any form of media at all um i think we're best off going with the first matrix film the first matrix film okay have you while i look that up is there is there ever consideration of having another band that doesn't reveal a lot of information as possibly like a feature i feel like that'd be like a really cool feature if you had another similar mystery band jump on a song or in general do you entertain features well we haven't done one yet um we i made a post on twitter um some time ago uh, asking people what they would like to see and there was the suggestion of sleep token slipknot uh, motionless in white ghost and a band called Marston black and um, I think Master and Black are looking for me to lay some lines down at some point in the future. But we'll see. It might happen. We'll it, might, it might not happen. Who knows? It's up to them. I mean, the ball's in their court at the moment. It's up to them. If they want me, I'm happy to put something down. If not, I mean, who knows? I don't know. As far as plagues, I don't know. It'd have to be something which would make sense in the law. I, I, I'm not sure yet. We got to run it through the lore what... machine and make sure it, it approves before we... <laughs> That's right. I, I love that. All right, this is your, your first Matrix trivia. I feel like I'm going to stump you, but let's see if we can. Here we go. In the first Matrix movie, the Sentinels are located. Morpheus asks Dozer if Zion has sent word. Dozer then replies, no, another ship. What is the name of the ship? Their ship or the ship that communicates with? It does. I, I guess it's the other ship. It says Morpheus asked Dozer if Zion sent word, to which Dozer replies, "No, another ship." See, I know the ship they were on was called the Nebuchadnezzar. Correct. That, that's not the answer we're looking for, though. All right, it's a trick question. They actually never, they actually never say. I, I just, I, oh, there we go. The, yeah, the, I knew I was gonna get you on that one. So that one doesn't count. That's not fair. That's not fair. I'll look up something else. But uh, and then it says uh, originally so they had long. it put as the Osiris, but that is not correct. They never actually specify the name. So I'll do the hot sauce. But um, is there is there a particular place that you've always wanted to travel? Maybe when when all the shows are, are ramped up and and going going crazy fans blah 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 is have you ever wanted to go to japan and play a show or australia like where where do you want japan japan more Australia, than anywhere like said, the first one japan i am i am longing to go and explore japan especially the areas where there's still the feudal um areas uh you know the, the temples all the ancient stuff i really really want to go and explore all of that and go into some of the ancient woods as well the temples, like, uh, what do you mean by the temples? Like, just like the religious temples, yeah, or, or so what in particular? Great, all the great big pagodas and everything else. You know, all the old, you know, with the ancient feudal um, wooden architecture, with all the crazy wooden cuts that they use to to make them slot in together, and they're sort of like unbreakable from that. Um, the way that they're constructed, I'm obsessed with that kind of thing. I think, it's and incredible. that goes back to your to your engineering love that you mentioned earlier, like yes. how things work. <laughs> I get it. I get it. There is logic to all of this. It's all connected. <laughs> that is wicked cool. 
Are you are you um do you have any like collectibles or hobbies that you do? Like uh Funko's mm, autographs from celebrities, like anything that you uh just collect. Um hmm. Not off the top of my mind, but I suppose I do like guitars. Um and I have got guitars, not with me currently, unfortunately, otherwise I'd show them off, but I do have a range of guitars which are just some of them are just for the sake of having them. They're not even for any specific purpose. I like I just I like that guitar. I love how that looks, I love how it sounds. I'm just gonna get it for because I want it. <laughs> That's about as close as it gets to a collectible. Unfortunately I live a very practical and objective existence, so I haven't ever delved into hobby collecting. Um I think actually when I was younger I used to enjoy um, you know, like rocks and and stuff like that. You're collecting crystals and things like that. You know, like uh, like geology. Quartz. Yeah, Kinda. geological crystals. You know, I couldn't. It was so long ago. We're talking a long, long time ago. But um, since then, no, I've I've become rather practical and an objective with my my approach to spending money. <laughs> let's do let's do a fun one and then a serious one. Uh, okay. Your favorite, your favorite food ever, if uh, just for for whatever reason today we're celebrating, even if it takes hours to prepare, what is your go-to favorite munchy meal? And then a serious question: Can you walk us through the ten minutes before the producer, engineer, or yourself is going to hit record? How do you prepare your voice? Is there any any tricks or anything that you do to get get your sound? Sure. Absolutely. So favorite, favorite food. So if this was like the final meal kind of situation or we're having a grand feast, it's going to have to be a, um, a Chateaubriand and it's going to be medium rare with garlic mushrooms and a peppercorn sauce or beef dripping sauce with some kind of it sounds lovely. either mashed potato or something like that. Something specifically like that, as I can see, this thing so specific. But yes, <laughs> we, it would be very specific. Before you, before uh, you answered the second part, we had a buddy that that went to the UK recently, and he was tripping out that he got served mashed peas. Is it, do you oh. like? Are you a fan of mashed peas or just just mashed potatoes? I, I can only say. I mean, I apologize to anyone who will be offended, but that that is horrendous <laughs> unless you're a baby sure. you have no business eating mashed peas <laughs> <laughs> okay and then and then for your vocals so yes i I'm, i take my vocal performances very seriously um especially vocal takes in the studio um i will spend at least an hour beforehand preparing my throat and my vocal cords by doing vocal exercises so doing all the um, melissa cross exercises with the you know chromatic scales and um, different vowel sounds, and then um, I I drink so much green tea, it's not even a joke. I, I'm drinking it pretty much all the time every day, even if I'm not doing vocal performances because I've just it's got so many benefits. But um, yeah, lemon, honey, and green tea is a go-to. Sometimes you put a bit of turmeric in there and a bit of ginger. It's really good for your throat. It helps um, ensure you don't end up with any vocal um, cord infections or throat infections and things like that. So uh, obviously you've got to look after your throat if it's your instrument. I know that uh, Resurgence just came out very recently, but is there anything whatsoever you're allowed to tell us that we're able to look forward to before the year's over, early 2024? I know a lot of this stuff is secretive, but what, what are you allowed to say that we can look forward to? Anything? Well, I can't, I can't say much, but I have heard rumors around sanctuary of some some larger volume of work being prepared for the beginning of next year maybe i don't know this is all hypothetical though my friend oh well that sounds lovely though larger mm. that's a large awesome. large volume of work maybe I, I heard it's in excess of an hour of music but we'll have to wait and see i guess okay very cool uh is there is there a a, a style of music outside of metal that you that you think you would ever want to incorporate into a song. I guess let me see. How I'm gonna ask this. 
is there is there a genre that you want to slightly dabble in to incorporate into metal uh in in a future release or or single or as far as like experimenting more like where do you want plagues to go as far as the I don't want to say the final sound because that 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 would kind of limit an artist. So I don't I don't want to say that. But do you know what I'm saying as far as trying something a little bit different than what you normally do? So I am partial to sub bass. <laughs> sub bass. I do enjoy sub. Yeah. So okay. I think maybe some. I think they're. I don't want to spoil anything, but yes, I think maybe. It would be exciting to dabble in incorporating some of the more modern hip hop. Really? Soundscapey sounds, but what I mean by that specifically, I'm not prepared to really go into. But <laughs> yes, there are territories which I am intrigued to explore. That is cool. So there's there's always surprises up your sleeve, is what I'm hearing. Oh yes. I, I absolutely love that. Have you ever uh, gotten a chance to to come to the states? Or I'm in California. Have you ever had a chance to visit California or the states? I have. I've been fortunate enough to venture through San Clemente a couple of times. Um, okay. It was a very long time ago, but a very beautiful place. Lovely, lovely beach there. Hell yeah! Who made your Who made your plague's plaque behind you? Like the neon. That thing is sweet. Um, that was. Just some independent seller on this humongous corporation called Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah, so they they um, they kindly put this together for me. The original design actually had the plague sigil incorporated into it. You know the um, the emblem, but unfortunately the emblem did not translate to the LED tubing in a aesthetically pleasing way so i discarded that and just went with the the font logo instead but yes i was kindly put together in very short order um i think it only took about a week okay, to throw that together which was very kind of them that is cool i know it is uh is very late over there where you are so i'll just leave it with uh one or two final questions but before i ask those questions is there something that you wanted to discuss that maybe for some reason we have not touched base on today Maybe something you want to plug or promote. I know Resurgence is out. If you guys get a chance, you're watching, go on Spotify, look up Plagues, hit that play button on Resurgence, support them. <laughs> but is there something that we may not have uh, have touched base on today? As far as covering what Plagues is all about, um, you know, it's an opportunity for people who are looking for something a little bit more than just music. There's a whole community of people which will they'll accept you, they'll take you in, they'll make you feel right at home. And it comes with a, uh, a fantastic musical experience. And it will, you know, there's a whole way for you as a listener to become actively involved in the overarching story of Plagues. Um, but yes, Resurgence released quite literally a day ago. Um, please go check it out. We've got a lyric video as well for it, um, masterfully. Uh, created by a, a dear friend so yeah that's about it that's as as much as i can go on because it's so new that's the only thing i can really plug at this point but um if you're joining now on your path to the light so to speak it's the best time to join because there is a lot in store so you want to get in on the ground floor now get in now hell yeah and i know you've got the the crawling cover uh, which which also came out this year, which is a fantastic cover. Is there is there plans in the future of doing more covers? Indeed so, actually. I think um, I made a commitment to my community that I would actually do a cover of Mad World, but the Gary Jules version of Mad World rather than the Tears for Fears original. So um, you can expect a, a very different take on that track at some point. Uh, that one is on the back burner for now, just because obviously there are certain things taking priority. But indeed, there will be more covers. Hell yeah. Well, well Zai, I very, very much appreciate you staying up late, taking some time to hang with us. Uh, I've, I've enjoyed everything I've ever heard from your band, man. Uh, and I wish you, you nothing but success and happiness and 
and darkness because I, I get the darkness vibes which is a compliment don't take it the wrong way please but uh for real this is this is fun this is one of those interviews that i was really really looking forward to man so thank you for taking some time to do this uh you did not have to but it's very kind that you did oh, i appreciate you having me on your uh on your channel thank you for taking the time to interview me and you know also bringing me exposure to or bringing exposure to plagues rather to your audience so sincerely appreciate that it is my pleasure i'm going to put this on youtube for tomorrow morning if you guys are watching and you missed any of it please check the channel but in the meantime i highly encourage you to go on spotify or apple music wherever you wherever you stream music hit the follow button support plagues like you said there's rumors of things coming things coming in 2024 don't you want to get in now it's the perfect time is now to get in zai have a fantastic night sir and uh just i wish you the best brother thank you so much and yourself thank you ever so much ladies and gentlemen please. give me a hell yeah I'll see you. Thank you. Dude. All right, we just started struggling to the local band smoke out.